woof, woof, woof. I've got a cute little puppy, a dog mug today for my coffee. And those of you listening to my voice on the Jammergram podcast, of course, can't see my amazing pink soft and fuzzy robe and my puppy dog mug, but they're very cute and very fun today. Today is day 25, actually, of our trick to get us through the end of the year. Things to make us focus on the positive, focus on what we want, and be happy and... Think about the things we want, not the things we don't want, especially in this chaotic time of year. Pajama Grandma, Sharon horn from here. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put a hashtag pajama in the comments below so I know it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. One last sneak of a sip before I dig into our cards today. So between now and the end of the year, we are looking at from these amazing card decks. And I like them because they usually summarize books like Louise Hayes' Wisdom Cards. She actually has a book that goes along with that. They're kind of like the cliff note versions or the the flashcard versions of the key points in in many books. They're available on a lot of different topics. I happen to like the ones on personal development. And so they're the ones that I um, tend to gravitate to and purchase. I have like, I think 25 or 30 of these decks. But these were the three that were by my computer and I thought geez it'd be nice to have something to just give us an extra boost between now and the end of the year and so I decided I would pick one from each of these decks because they sort of speak to the main criteria the main concerns we have as human beings health wealth and relationships well-being wisdom and wealth kind of the same thing so the first one today from the well-being deck says I need my magnifying glass all is well all is well and it's got a couple little horses on it it says, babies are beings from the non-physical, eternally coming forth for the creation of that which they decide. So that says, babies are born to create the life that they want. That's kind of what that says to me. It says, the babies are wanting so much for you to know that all is well. All is well. All is well. It doesn't always feel like it, but our natural state is well-being, and the universe wants us to be well. So we have from Louise Hayes. Wisdom cards today. I love these. They're so colorful and so fun. It says, sorry, it's backwards. I am healthy and filled with energy. I am healthy and filled with energy. It says, I feel the bounce in my step. I see my shining eyes. The radiant me is right here. I claim it now. Inside all of us is a perfectly healthy, amazingly happy human being. And we just have to let her or him out. And finally, from the wealth deck today, it says... I can transform my world. I can transform my world. It looks like a magician with a world transforming it, apparently. That's what it has to say on the back. Make lists of positive aspects. Make lists of things you love. And never complain about anything. And as you use those things that shine bright and make you feel good as your excuse to give your attention and be who you are, you will tune to who you are and the whole world will begin to transform before your eyes. It is not your job to transform the world for others, but it is your job to transform it for you. A state of appreciation is pure connection to source where there is no perception of lack. So focus on what you want, focus on things that make you feel good, think about things that make you feel good and watch as those things appear in your life. Sit, those are our messages for today. I highly recommend that you find yourself a trick like this. I actually use note cards too and I write things on note cards and carry them with me throughout the day. Things that I want to focus on and think about. Guess what? We get to control what we think about so we might as well think about things that make us feel good. That's it. Have a fantastic day. I'll of course be with you tomorrow. Bye. Jam Grandma out.